Hello, hello, this is Kevin Resilient Emmy, picking back up my Age of Wonders 4 campaign after a break for both cognitive issues and because I wanted to play a different game for a couple days. Uh, I left the um, last episode a little bit irritated and demoralized. Part of it was that the, the AI did something that felt cheaty. I'm not sure if, it, if it's a bug or... I just don't understand the mechanic. But I reloaded from that. Now I've been attacked in the city I had previously captured. And this is where the demoralized bit comes in, is that these AIs are now surprising me with much larger armies than I thought would be possible to build. Not alleging any um, um, cheating with that, I'm just... I misjudged my... Um, army requirements. I'm not feeling so confident about winning this game, but we'll see. An army like, or a battle like this, I might be able to just knock out these higher tier units pretty fast, do morale damage, and spin it in my favor. So we're just gonna play and do what we can do. And I think we're we want to play this somewhat defensively. And I'm, I'm trying to remind myself that we have this Consume Flora ability, so we want to cluster near the plants. Or just use them immediately. We need some heals. We actually have a small army. Not great gameplay-wise, but as far as getting back into the game after a break, this is actually nice as there's less to think about. We can hide amongst the buildings. Let's let's review the the opposing army and see if that seems like a good strategy. And these guys don't need a line of sight for their ability. For this, they they would, right? The ranged well, do they need a line of sight? Because they would use the Zephyr shot. No. Don't think... Ironclad needs line of sight. So clustering in the buildings... Probably hurt me more than it would hurt them. Let's see, level 4 hero. There's one advantage is that he's going to be weak on heroes and equipment at this stage. Some visually nice armor, even though it's not something that's equipped. I'm not sure if that's an ability within the battle or on the... The strategic map. Suppose we'll find out. One hit point per two movement points. That would be obscene in a battle, right? Maybe there's something with these icons where I could figure out if it applies within a battle. Like this is a smaller icon. That's a smaller icon. Then again, that's a larger icon and that's definitely strategic. I don't know. <laughs> we'll find out. Does he have any other? He has his ruler. Okay. Is fully equipped, of course. I, mean, I have my ruler as well, who still needs to level up. Hmm. He has killing momentum. We need to be careful of that. I don't believe buildings are non fortified obstacles.
Having these guys cut off would be a mistake. We're going to have to use the abductor wisely. I think we can abduct ironclads. Probably want the abductor on the left side, honestly. So let's... Let's have these guys scoot behind the buildings. I think we're going to try to group up over here. In this road. Inquisitor will eat that and heal. And uh, I was hoping we could get back behind the building, but we cannot. We're gonna get demon stepped. Unless we set the ground on fire, maybe. We're going to leave this open range for our attacks. Try to lure him into the, a kill zone. Actually, do I want to be there? I don't think so. I feel like we do want to do that. Just set the ground on fire. I'm worried that'll scatter and hit my own unit. Or blow up buildings that we don't want to blow up. But we'll, we'll shoot there. Yeah, he still has a path through there. I don't think we gained anything. Put the ruler here. And it's not an edible plant. That is, though. Right, so we're immediately eating the plants, which isn't ideal, but it's fine. Not a great turn, but we'll accept that. We're gonna have to make good use of spells and the ruler's mind control. There's a third hero I missed on CN. Yeah, there's a reason I wasn't feeling them. Um, is bold when I left this game. He's also playing defensively, which is... Huh. I'm not sure why. The AI doesn't think they have an advantage to push, I would imagine. Hmm. Do we risk an exile? Maybe a mana core. There's nothing that'll force him to stay in range of it, though. Yeah. I guess it might force him to move up. Doesn't feel 
tremendously valuable. Hope I'm not yelling. My volume's a bit excessive on the, the game music here. See, that's not going to come through the recording. I just have to adjust my uh, amplifier here. Hmm. Maybe we do treat. We've now eaten these plants. I mean, I don't think we can really bottleneck him. Let's check out this hero we missed, too. It's a restore. The AI is good about taking restore, I've noticed. They recognize the value to it. I'm saying that like it's a the obvious pick, but the AI definitely just favors it. I'm not sure if it's any better than other choices. Could shoot some buildings. Does it benefit us to do that? Maybe. Should be a little more of a central location with him. I'm gonna shoot the building. Just to open this zone up a little more. Do not know if that is the correct move, honestly. An exile would be the most valuable. Unless we can get a kill. Twenty nine health. I mean, the knight can easily move out of range. Maybe just a mass condemn. Hit the heroes. May not affect the heroes though. Maybe we drop it there. Okay. Kind of planning ahead for what we may end up doing. Give those guys defense. Realistically, having the overseer near the abductor might be better. But that's okay. Did I gained morale from that? I think. No, that's not good. I will be forced to move. It was a bit of a waste of his heal. Okay. To hmm. sure I understand his tactic. Otto really likes isolating his ruler. He 
interesting. Uh, let's start with the hero. Can't can't mind control an ironclad, I don't think. Yeah, maybe don't start with the ruler. Why does he not get a flank? Shouldn't these be flanking tiles? What am I missing? He's not in defense mode. Oh, he is in defense mode. Okay, that's what I'm missing. <laughs> well, that's why he went forward. <laughs> I think my only hope here is just hit the morale as much as humanly possible. They need a condemned on him. There we go. Okay. Do that. It hasn't crippled the morale. Wouldn't expect it to, though. He's going to move up. And do that. Unfortunate. Not sure if that would remove the burning. Hmm. That would be kind of neat. But I think it'll just remove and then reapply. Let's phase here. Cloud into that. What we were doing is opening up this guy to fire. We're gonna distract Otto. Unfortunately, can still retaliate. He has high defense, so we wanna sunder that. Only gets one hit on him, unfortunate. It's okay. Does not take him out of defense mode. It's harsh. No, it's burning. Not a great chance of a stun. Oh, that damage isn't any better. I have to just stay in this fire. It's irritating. Hmm. 
Not getting as much damage down as I wanted. Not feeling optimistic about this fight still. That electrified will help. Can't make use of that distracted. That's the problem right here. Might need to just throw these guys forward as a distraction. Let's get him moving toward the abductor. No, because then area of effect spells. Focus on distraction. Take an auto down quick might be our only chance. Ugh. That is a lot of burning. I can't take that. <sighs> Hurts. I know he's going to drop another spell. Taking a lot of passive damage. That made me turn around. Oof. Saving from the petrifies is quite valuable. Yeah. And flanked. We have to get that knight down just for the morale. Ugh. We have to get auto down. Not in a good position. Can I do anything about that? You know... Does this get rid of the, uh, the fire that's hurting me? Or is it just stack them? It stacks it. Well, I had to do that for science. Did not work out. If I could get a stun, I could do that, but... Ah, oh, this is such a painful fight. We can get that kill. I didn't see any morale penalty from that.
I would say that's probably because there wasn't one. We almost have to do that just to have a chance to take an auto down. Why is that such a bad shot? Can I... I don't know the button to check the percentages. Try that. <sighs> That did more harm than good. Well, the blind helps. I'd be interested in if anyone wants to post in the comments how they would have played this fight. If they thought there's any point where I was um, looking at a win. <laughs> I'm obviously not playing it perfect, but I don't know that the result would be any different. I'm not going to get to mind control. Ah, that hurts. Just being able to take down a unit or two would have been nice. <laughs> I don't know that I'm going to get auto. Oh, I can't cast spells because my ruler's dead, right? Is this going to be our thumbnail? Going down in flames. Uh, not even sure how to maximize damage against him. I mean, his city is still going to be gloomed, so. Helps. Kind of. I'm not killing that unit, so this isn't particularly useful. Unfortunately. I've also pretty much given up on getting auto. It either will or won't happen. Yeah. We'll see. I have to move that, take the hit. Burning removed. Oh, cause... 
Okay. So it's okay that that's stacked. We can get auto. What's halberdier? I don't know if that might have even been more valuable, but we'll do what we can do here. It's satisfying. The game is smart enough not to take massive morale hit or um, massive morale hit from that. As in, we're losing units quicker than he is, and we're outnumbered. And the game understands that. You could have at least gotten some friendly fire. You know, the Bastion's beefy enough to last a turn to... We'll find out. I don't think they're going to be doing anything significant. We'll try for some last minute kills. But... Iffy. Those are my last two. No, I still have him. Get the halberdier down. All right. How much damage have we done? Ruler, two units. Might get an ironclad or an archer. I am curious how he rebuilt this army so quick. Does he have two cities I haven't discovered, capital included? It was some of this... I mean, the night was the rally of the lieges. Not sure any of his other units were. His heroes he just purchased. If my assumptions about him only having one underground city, the capital, were wrong, then this situation makes a lot more sense. That's what I'm saying. If he just has the capital, I don't know how he built this army that fast. Unless he was sitting on a bunch of units. I'll take a lot of hits if I go chasing after that. He's good at defending. <laughs> There's any way I can get those down. Let's see how bad that's going to be. 
Not that bad. We're not gonna get the archer. He's playing too well. Technically, he wins if he just kills the ironclad, too. The AI doesn't seem to be aware of that, because the other guys are summons for the fight. We should have stuck to one city at a time. That was our mistake. I don't think it would let us run away at this low of health. Yeah. Really, that wasn't a kill? <laughs> Do I have the opportunity to be annoying and kill something? I'd have to get a crit. <laughs> or a flank. I can't get a flank. Bleeding doesn't help. Try that. have to see how much we can undo damage. Uh, do I really feel like playing all these fights back to back? Let me check my recording time quick. I spent 40 minutes on that, that's crazy. I mean, I'm not as cognitively together as I'd like to be today. Let's see what Otto does with this. So we fought this battle last time, honestly. That's harsh. We fought it better than that. I'm not going to have my spells, which is... oof. I'd really like to finish this game, because it's not like a, a snowball situation where I'm clearly going to win. I think it's going to be interesting to see if I can actually pull it off. It's like, you know, it's, it's one of those things where, you know, losing's not fun, but in the long term, winning everything is really not fun. We want the game to actually have some drama to it. Alright, I know last time we were too close to the mushrooms, we... Caused ourself issues, not paying enough attention to that. So let's try to play this a bit better. I know we lost the hero too, and try not to do that again. The age old issue of not having enough of a front line. Not even sure where I want to position some of these guys. Ah, I guess the Inquisitors are a front line. 
Maybe set up a little defensive flank for this rather than marching. I think the abductor is going to try to grab someone from that side. These guys are a bit tanky themselves, too. Yeah, I said I wasn't going to march ahead, and then I marched ahead. Uh, I'm going to restart this one. It's, it feels less like cheating if I restart before seeing the consequence. If I just say, hey, that was a mistake, then restart. Something the comments can give me an opinion on, too. Set this flank up differently. I want this guy to just be in here with his gun. He said an inquisitor up here. Thanks, man. That's the mistake I made that cost me the hero last time. Okay. Need to pay more attention. You here, you here. You're in a... Speaking of needing to pay attention... Hero must move first. Then you can go through. You don't hurt yourself doing that. Okay. These mushrooms, man. I swear. Is he gonna end up stomping the mushroom? No, we're not gonna give him the chance. Inquisitor will be part of the front line. Are you gonna send you that? Well, not. All the way forward. We're gonna, if they're gonna come this way, they're gonna have to go all the way, I think. Play this differently than before. We are going to cluster. Is there anybody who hasn't moved? I don't think so. He's got all his heals. Let's rush through his turn. Let him do that. Not being able to use spells is harsh. It's going to make this fight a lot harder than it needs to be. If only the, the AIs had played their turns in a, the other order, huh? We could have done this fight first. Why is my volume still seem ridiculously loud? If you won't notice me adjusting the volume. Windows is set to 100%. Oh, you resisted the stun? That's not good.
Just can't get a good shot off there either. Do not want to be next to the mushroom. That's unfortunate. I believe I can give him insanity, though. <clears throat> yes. So he should kill his ally there. Hmm. If I do that, he will. Okay. Ah, oh, not having the spells hurts. Hurts real bad. I'm putting the Inquisitor up here. Seems smart. that stun off if we can. Ah. He is good at resisting things. Then the Inquisitor. It's interesting. You can't undo movement with him because he's leaving a trail. Shouldn't be using the shock unit for defense. Let's just draw Umbro across the map and see what that does. If we can get him to walk in that. Hmm. Maybe send him over for the heels. Not sure about that. Could also send you in for an enchain. I feel like I might rather have that somewhere else, though. Staying out of range of the gold golem makes sense to me. As does dropping down some fire. Give me two shots. Hmm. Good scatters. Love to see it. Gonna stay away from the mushrooms. They're gonna hold back because he can't get in range of anything right now. Ooh. Oh, I have to be killed for him to do that. Okay, that's not as bad as it looks. Can I? Unselect your unit, please. Hmm. It's a little quirk of the UI. Go for the high ground. The Umbral Mistress. 
I think that's our turn. Yeah. Doesn't appear we can do anything else. Let's go ahead and end. Oh, come on. The insanity, you're supposed to hit your own guy. I forgot they fly. I'm gonna have to check the status effect of that insanity because I feel like that was not how that's supposed to play. A bit of a cheaty peedy over here. I think that Inquisitor is dead. What was that? Not even trying to heal this unit. Curious. Hmm. I think that gold golem needs to go down. The spell shield needs to go down too. Which spirit damage is he doing? Just four? Yeah. Not that interesting. Yeah, having the shocked unit up there is not... Not a great play. At least we can get some damage on him. This flank's already... We're losing control of it. But our goal is just to play this fight better than the AI did. And the AI played it absolutely terrible, so... We're gonna do what we can do. Should have set up next to a plant for that. We didn't. Doing less damage than expected. I wonder why. Capable of enchaining the. No, not really. Unchain him. Ow, copper golems. Ugh. I didn't check the unit before I did that. Unwise. Let's try to get him down. both of those. It's unfortunate. Do 
don't know if I want to keep shooting him and pushing him back. Doesn't feel like the right move. No, oh, that taking the shots with the mage locks. Thank you for the crit. See, yeah, I should not have pushed him back. It was a mistake. Getting that stun would be good. If we hadn't already moved him, we could have captured one of them. The crits are helpful. Let's try to get that unit down before we take any retaliation hits we don't need to take. He always hits, which is nice. So that means I could get that. I'd want to Sunder Defense first. Now, didn't help as much as I hoped it would. <sighs> I don't know if we can get him down this turn, honestly. Let's plan to use the Consume Chaos on him. Throw a mark on him. That gets that kill. Both kills. Okay. That is what we want to see. He's about to run, which is good. Any other kills we can get, just slam that morale. It's just not enough damage. That's got some value. Yeah, take the unit down. He's gonna come in and get his some gilding on me. I don't like that. Now if I march forward, he's... Well, now he is. He can just do it there. If I marched all the way forward... Doesn't seem like the move. I think if I back up, it's less he can do. I think we're just gonna have to take a hit. Get him stunned. Can hope for some nice crits here. 
Nah. You get one, you miss one. He hasn't fled yet. Uh, honestly, we should just take that shot. Get a kill. That's eh, some damage I don't want to take. Right, we're trying to take a unit down. Yeah, didn't think we'd be able to. Shame he survived, but he might go down after the turn ends. There's a chance this Inquisitor will survive just because he's stunned, but it's unlikely. Let's see what happens. No. Used a spell. You care more about the zealot than anything else? Okay. <laughs> Fine with me. That's unfortunate. The abductor is probably going to have to abduct that banshee. And I've already abducted something, haven't I? Hmm. Never mind. That's not what I wanted to see. I'm not sure we're going to get better results than the AI did. <laughs> Why is he facing down? It's strange. Why can't you do much damage? Is that not a charge weapon? Yeah. Guess not. It's just a polearm. Didn't know there was a distinction to be made. Let's enchain him. Do some insanity and hope it actually works this time. Try to handle the front line. So that's the threat right now. That'd be some good shots. We can have him take out his own unit and handle the front line. Defend the mage locks as best as we can. an iffy flank over here. Probably should have taken him out first.
Oh, that's interesting. What is that? I have an ironclad use all ammo types. Okay. Did that actually kill anything? I don't think it did. Am I gonna have to uh, waste the, um... No. Can the Inquisitor do that kill? I think we're doing okay. Definitely getting crits like that we are. Mm -hmm. uh? I'm wondering if I should just use the Overseer. No, let's use him to heal. I was thinking of using him to defend. Mage Lock doesn't have a shot. It's okay. Better than a miss. Or not. <laughs> okay. Try not to die. I shouldn't have done that. <sighs> Running through that fire, painful. Especially would be stuck standing in it. Are there plants to eat over there? No. He just gets shot in the back, regardless of who he goes for. Mm. Alright, the fire is going away next turn. Let's prepare to run through that area. The insanity did work this time. Not worried about your dust storm. <laughs> I'm worried about the losing you. Yep. Harsh fight. <laughs> Try not to lose anything else. I mean, honestly, let's try to gain something. Got that final ultimatum. You guys ready to run?
Be more valuable to have a spell breaker, probably. Let's pin him down so he can't run away. Not sure why your aim is so poor. And his isn't? Oh, he's blind. Yeah. That is why. Wonder if you could find Ultimatum the hero. Does the sprint do anything? Yeah, I'd let you move one tile. I'm taking that. Not useful right now. Him out of here. Try to take that shot. Not a five percent. <clears throat> I'll take it. I'm out of harm's way. What have we actually lost? Ah. That's just as bad as the AI, isn't it? And then we lost the valuable Umbral units. I'll have to compare and see if I actually did worse. Possible. Now we can't use our final ultimatum because the spells. <sighs> Oh, I taunted you, so now you're not going to run. Yeah. That's silly. Try not to die. Get a kill. <laughs> Let's get these kills before it asks if I want to end the battle and then we don't get things. That's an embarrassing miss. Raised. I want to run through where that hero is, man. Come on. Get this bush out of the way. That actually did improve my aim. Alright, so shooting through cover, even when no one's in the cover, is still quite important. All right, that's going to be a kill.
I don't know who else is on the field, so sure. Yeah, yeah sloppy. Mm. And he isn't done yet. Unfortunately, that's not that threatening at all. Oof. Are we even going to play a full turn on this episode? I'm not sure we are, honestly. I'm not sure I want to recalibrate to what's going on in the strategic map right now. Let's look around and give it some thought. I know this was being attacked by the Toll Seasons. Considering it's not still under siege, I would say he has an army over here and successfully defended it. He has that city. He definitely still has a capital somewhere over here. Over here, somewhere else on the map. I'd still like to see a Namru get taken out. So we are running out of turns to take down three AI. I didn't think it was going to be a problem because I thought we were going to have some cities raised, but we don't. No. That is a hilarious amount of damage on these units. Fortunately, taking that city down will take forever. That would be easy to take down. Looks like it is going to be taken down, but that's not going to benefit me. That's just silly. We need to take the Sanctum. And we might need it more than we care about Karn's units here. Maybe I'll march on that. Oh, I know we can do it. And get another fight in this game. It definitely has something in the fog. Or unless that's just the city. Can I see that before I march? Okay, it's just a zombie. I don't care about that. We'll do this fight. Again, no spells. Maybe I should be building that, um, that room of recovery for my ruler if I'm going to be playing this game risky. some bleed on him. Not a lot of damage. This isn't the best positioning. Let's fight. Not much chance of that stun working out. Let's get the insanity going here.
It's like I don't want to attack if I got the insanity going. Get them marked on you. Not too worried about what they damage. I probably should be. But yeah. It's okay. I guess we can get the incinerary and the bleed both. And we're defend our front line. Load you up with status effects. Actually, I want that insanity to tick, so we're not gonna do anything there. I'll try to get the stun. Got the stun. Good. Eh, not a lot of damage. Definitely suffering the fate of having an overextended empire, though, in general. You have a better shot here than you did over there. Very strange. I can go over here and try to get him blind. Forgot about that stench. I should be making better use of that. You're not the one I thought I was moving. there's anything they can do at this stage. Hopefully they don't have a spell they can just drop on me. expects the insect inquisition. There's our cringe for the day. And there's our raising for the day. You 
do fortunately heal here. Some of our units. He might go for the capital. Burden of guilt. May want to cast that. To shoot down whatever he's thinking of doing. All right, we can't cast that. Oh, losing your ruler is very bad. Why heal more over here in the gloom? Let's try to figure that out. I don't think these guys actually heal at all in the gloom. I think they're just immune to it with the hero. This is not a strong army right now. Either. Not a fan of what's going on over here. Let's see what the free cities are doing. I can send one of them off right now. Which ruler's the bigger threat though? Oh, these guys aren't even on the same island. I didn't know that. That doesn't seem relevant. I'm trying to figure out who has better access to Otto and Karn. This one would just go through and crash into those gates and lose. You're not nearby at all. It's, I don't know what direction you come from. Oh, I see. You can't attack the same place two times at once. This one is not currently attacking. We'll try that. Maybe it'll be a distraction. Don't know what we're going to do about those marauders. Probably nothing. Two cannons is a very silly army. Not sure that guy was actually good. Not sure what I think about the corrupt souls. Better than a lot of things. I like these abductors. I can get an ogre too. Sure. Not opposed to an ogre. These guys are basically the same upkeep. Dragoon definitely does more damage. 
but that stun is pretty valuable. I'm still gonna favor the Dragoon. Room of Recall, please. <laughs> I think that... Well, I, I guess it's a question, will that tick first? I don't know. Not a fan of him being out of range of the other army. Not much that can be done about it. Let's see what happens between turns. Hmm. We're gonna get flanked. Oh no, come on, turn around. There's an army right there. <laughs> no, that didn't tick first. So the room of recall did not help this time. That's unfortunate. And we can't abandon this city or this zombie will literally just walk in there and it completely embarrass me. <laughs> Not about complete embarrassment. Might be about a spell jammer. I don't know that I have anywhere to put it. Ah, that is some low food production. No, I'm not gonna worry about that at the moment. Oh, those are some damaged armies. Oh, that's why he's flanking around. It'll give him time to heal. Right. I'm aware of this. I'm going to get another hero next turn. Or this turn if we pay for it. But I want to get this siege started. Iffy as it is. I can march on this city, I just don't know. How many turns will this take? I don't think all these stack either. Stacks in the um, fortification damage, that's it. Uh, well, that's going to keep me distracted long enough for him to sneak up behind me. Yeah.
Mm, this is harsh. Harsh, harsh. We gotta just rush out units as quick as possible. I wanna just go stomp that army. I wonder how our healing would be over there as opposed to here. Worse. Okay. I don't know that we're gonna produce anything, honestly. I want the money. Yeah, we're we'll playing a few turns in this episode. It's just front loaded with the combat. I don't know what Karn's doing. Ah. That's why he was hanging around. Uh oh. I'm not even going to get to raise this city, am I? Imagine if I was also at war with a damn Ru, huh? So I'm already overextended. Just go on these two. They're effectively stopping me from raising anything. I still don't have my spells. For comedic value, let's see if we even get a single unit if we try auto. <laughs> Interesting. <sighs> what I'm thinking is that might actually be better than I could do. He's stacking heroes. Let's see how the AI plays this out of curiosity's sake. Well, that's a poor move right off the bat. Hmm. The AI knows how to make use of the plants. Or not. <laughs> that was a waste. But why are you so uh, suicidal with the heroes, though? What are you aiming at? Hmm. It's not how I would have done that first turn. Especially with shock units. Mm. Yeah, marching into a front line of shock units. 
seems a bit sketch. Fine insanity. What? Why would you stack the debuffs on one unit? That's wasteful. <sighs> yeah, there's plenty of mistakes the AI is making. It doesn't see units as um, solved when it's got a a debuff like insanity. Is there going to be a front line to defend that? Where the Inquisitors all run off into nowhere. Let's speed this up. I definitely don't like how the AI's played it. <sighs> Wasting debuffs, not even attempting to build a front line out of the Inquisitors. Rushing forward. focus for the uh, Bumbo Mistress. But yeah, targeting the heroes down makes sense. I'd probably ignore Karn, honestly. Let's expedite this. Or just close it. Let's just close it. We're gonna have to do this one manually. I think that'll probably be a next episode, but we're we're skim the field to see what what the actual circumstances are here. Oh, okay, you're not doing a front line because this army's literally just got him. This army's somewhat capable of a front line. You don't have good army composition. I should have shuffled the units on my turn. Rather than just combining what was left of those two stacks. I'm assuming that's the all-ranged army we ended up with. Hmm. They do like their restore. It's also a two versus a three stack, me damaged. This may be targeting that down. I don't know. There's no heroes in the damaged army. But this guy was a goblin. Am I half blind or was he shown as a goblin on the um the previous screen? Mm -hmm. 
I'm gonna have to check that when I rewatch. Uh -huh. Nice face paint. Yeah, so the heroes are pretty good. His army is well rounded, actually. Not not really range heavy. Not high level units. Yeah, I can probably do better than the AI, but I'll I'll hold that for next turn. So with that I will save here and make the statement that I'm probably not gonna win the war, but I think I can win this battle. Until next time, it's been Kevin with Resilient Emmy.